relax, friends, breathe. This is not another 2020 bad news story coming at you. He's making me work, Jack. No one would dare call it fake news either. I invite you to just look at the pictures and remember what it's like to just smile and feel good. But one thing is for sure here, no doubt about it. This story is old news. So I told her, I told her I was about and I went to bed a little bit away in Guadalcanal. She says, you must be close to 100 years old. <laughs> I says, I'll be 99 next month. She said, you're a remarkable guy. <laughs> was she single? <laughs> I, I, I didn't ask her. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Meantime, this is him out celebrating a fall morning, delivering copies of the Sun Lakes Splash newspaper with the Rotary Club and his longtime friend and golf buddy, Don Robbins. A lot of the fellows that deliver actually had paper routes when they were kids. I know I did. The really neat thing is that the camaraderie of working together with the other Rotarians to deliver the paper. So. Not only are we doing something good for Rotary, we're having lots of fun doing it. But Don, have you ever taken out a mailbox? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> uh, you know, life is a funny thing. Don said he was a paper boy, you know. Most most uh, people that throw papers are in their late teens or early, early adult. I waited till I was 98 years old. So, <laughs> so it was a new experience. <laughs> Forget for a moment, Jack Holder is likely Arizona's and America's oldest paper boy right now. He is also our most decorated. A Pearl Harbor survivor on duty at Ford Island that morning of December 7, 1941, when Japanese forces attacked. A U.S. Navy flight engineer whose crew delivered the key message they spotted the Japanese fleet leading to the infamous Battle of Midway. A military hero who flew 315 Navy missions, who during World War II fought in two different theaters. Imagine taking on both the Japanese and Hitler's German troops, earning not one, but two distinguished flying crosses. A long, long time ago, Jack Holder was a Texas State champion in the 100-yard dash. No, he can't do 10 seconds flat anymore, but he still has a throwing arm like the legendary baseball pitchers you may have heard about, but he saw. Who was the best pitcher you ever saw, Jack? Well, I don't know. I seen Dizzy Dean, I uh, seen uh, mm -hmm. Boy Ford. Uh, Koufax had to be up there. Of course, Jack still cares deeply about his country and his community, and he enjoys giving back. He's such an important part of our Rotary Club. We have about 25 different committees, and all those committees are to find ways to support the community. And not only do we provide money for those projects, we also volunteer. As for Jack Holder's story, he lives to tell others about it. We deliver it through his book, during live in-person and online virtual events, and now also in Holder of History, the TV documentary we are currently in production of about his extraordinary life. Just recently, we launched Jack's first website for delivering all this news. You'll find it at jackholder.org. Keep on smiling and staying young. And please, if you like, Share this good news story with everyone you know, young or old, who in these unsettling times could definitely use a smile. You know what happens, Jack, when I say you haven't missed a driveway yet, right? So I'm not going to say that. <laughs>